Hello, and how are you this lovely Sunday evening? Today, we're going to talk about Pokemon Go again. I know I just talked about it a couple days ago, but it's still new and I'm still really actually a lot more excited about it than I expected to be. Each day that I've played it since its release, there's just been more about it that I've been interested in that I've been excited about, and there are some more problems with it that I've seen, but overall, I will say that it is, not that it's a great game, not that it isn't a game in its own right, but I wouldn't call it a great game. But really, at the end of the day, in my opinion, Pokemon Go is a hype machine done right. A hype machine is essentially something a company will release to generate attention over their new properties that are getting released, or, you know, specifically, you know, trailers for movies, or movies being trailers for other movies, look at you, Marvel. But a lot of the time, hype machines basically just exist to be like, hey, this is a product, buy more of our products. But in my opinion, Pokemon Go isn't quite like that. It is a unique game with mechanics of its own, and in addition to generating hype for, you know, the new Pokemon games coming out within the very near future, which is something I mentioned in the last video, here's what it's really doing. Pokemon Go is making people genuinely excited about Pokemon. Not just, oh man, I can't wait for that new game to come out. It's legitimately having people running around outside with their friends trying to catch Pokemon. Really, at the end of the day, this is what it was supposed to be from the beginning. Pokemon has a history of trying to implement social features in its game. In fact, the first Pokemon game, pretty much the main reason they split it into two versions was to show off the fact that the Game Boy could link to other Game Boys. And so, really, Pokemon is a game that's always been meant to be played with friends, but the main series of games really don't necessitate that. Even nowadays, where, you know, there are so many Pokemon you need to trade between versions and all that kind of stuff, a lot of people will just buy multiple games for themselves and just trade with themselves. Pokemon Go is not a game that can't be played single player by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a game that genuinely lends itself to being a shared experience, in my opinion. I'm sure there are plenty of solo players out there. It's the sort of game where you don't really need to know about Pokemon in order to play it. So, like I said in my last video, anyone who has any experience with Pokemon can see it and be like, oh, that's pretty interesting. I might as well try it out for a little while. And I know I'm covering a lot of the same ground as in the last video, so forgive me for that. But it's just... I really just want to give credit where credit is due to Niantic Incorporated or whatever it is. Niantic, the company responsible for, you know, the bulk of the, the map laying, stuff like that. And to the Pokemon company, you did a really good job, and it's awesome to see so many people so excited about it. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I guess I will see you tomorrow.